Greetings everybody. Back out in the woods today for a beautiful evening. It's uh, about, let's see what time it is. Evening light's really, really good today. Let's see, we got, uh, it's five, a little after five. As you can see the sun setting, coming through the trees here. I'm just gonna do a real quick video about using natural blinds. Uh, Cause there's a, this is the area, there's a lot of it out here. I know a lot of you sometimes like to go to the trail and just take pictures from the trail, but you gotta get off the trail. Uh, to, find, to find the animals and wait for them because they don't usually take the trails. Uh, they kind of move alongside of them. Um, so, let's grab the camera real quick. I'm going to show you something real quick. <clears throat> this <clears throat> out here is some really good natural blind stuff. and You can, you can actually make a blind, which I'm going to do a video of here real soon, hopefully. Um, but this area has got a lot of good area, a lot of uh, clearings that we have, the animals move through but this this section right here let me show you turn this around real quick right back in here that's uh that's a good that's a good natural blind I'll show you why uh, for one you got the animals moving through here you can see the tracks uh, they've probably been bedding down in it and uh, that helps so what you do, you're out here with your big long lens, this little spot right here, you are well hidden right here, uh, kind of broken, broken up out of view. And you have a good view, as you can see. Just scope out that little area. And uh, pretty much a 360. Uh, you know, your long lens can come right through here and if you're a little cam camo camouflaged up whatever you can have a nice good view of deer that are moving in through here same with that direction same with that direction uh, so that's why I like these little spots I don't have to make anything uh, it's kind of nice you got the horse trail over there so uh, kind of well hidden right here and uh, it's not too it's not too hard to just skew this out of the way for your lens to come through. So be looking for that kind of stuff. Uh, all right, so let's go out here today. You know, actually today what I'm doing is actually shooting some medium format landscapes photography with the uh, with the Yashica. Love it. Um, it's really really good lighting for it. But I uh, wanted to just do a quick video on that. Uh, I'm talking about some more natural blinds over here. This is also a real good one. <clears throat> right here. This, uh, this dead tree foliage, really, really good one. This is uh, what you can do. Set up right in here, like this. And you don't really have to make anything. Um, you don't have to, uh, you, you could do it up with some pine or some, some of these weeds out here, but that's it. I mean, you know, you could, you got a nice big open area here where you could shoot that way, but you can, once you do your focus in your lens, some of this foliage is going to go out of focus. So you, you're well hidden in these animals, unless they smell you, you can just have them walk right past you. They won't even see you if you don't move. So uh, be looking for stuff like this. I'll show you what it looks like from, from out there. So that's what it looks like. So if you are an animal, here it is, I'll put it right there. There. Right in here. Sitting down right here, they can't see a thing. So um, really good, and you're protected. They got a little bit of a hillside here, so be looking for stuff like that. Kind of hard to see. You probably can see me pretty good in the video, but for animals, it's a little bit different story because of how they their their color scheme of their eyes. I love it. I look for stuff like that all the time. So uh, we're gonna continue. Doing some uh, landscape stuff before uh, before the sun sets.